Sterling face off for period number three is ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Calgary's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. And he denied him there. Here's a chance. Turns another aside. What pressure here in the offensive end. Vancouver's got it against the boards. Haronik's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a shot. The backhand poked away in the offensive zone by Pedersen. Moves it quickly over to Huberto. Shot. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the glove. Calgary's on total cruise control early in this third period. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. And that pass is redirected. And now he moves it quickly to Tube. Calgary's got the puck in their own end. Shifley's carrying it ahead. Skates in behind the cage. Here's a shot. Love save made by Demko. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Flames offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Off the face off, they take the puck. Slides the puck across to Bluger. Dubé's got it in the defensive end. Vancouver's through center and now in the offensive end. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Pushes it across to Uyghur. Here's a blast. Makes the save with the glove. In front, and a, here we go from the, I'm not surprised at all, Files, Cheryl. Yeah, your rival team's going head-to-head. -head. You know what's on the line, the bragging rights and the W. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, every single time. Well, I think this is exactly what a lot of people came to see tonight, Cheryl. There's no love lost between these two teams. Every time they set foot on the ice, you know it's a heated battle. This has just been an ugly game, and they haven't been able to generate any momentum or get anything going. And this fight here is just a result of that buildup over the course of the game. Extremely frustrated, so the mitts speak for themselves. Play's set to resume here, finally, after a spirited scrap just moments ago. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Calgary is playing it from the side. Great heads up play by the defender. Angles it over to Tube. And that's broken up by Uyghur. Here's a chance. Teed up and turned away on his part. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Calgary's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. Battling for it along the boards. Bluger's got it in the defensive end. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Moves it to Cole. The Flames take possession in the defensive end. Calgary's done a great job in front of the goaltender, making sure they clear rebounds and that the tender sees absolutely everything that comes their way. Now they're protecting the shutout. Of course, that's a goaltender stat, but everyone should get the reward of that big fat zero. The Flames played along the boards. Denies are in front. The Canucks have it now. Vancouver's looking to break out. Cole's got it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Pullman. Oh, what a little stick lift on the play. It comes up with the puck. Taken along the wall by Garland. From the point, and that's stopped by Markstrom. 
It always amazes me that goaltenders often make this save look easy with all of that traffic in front and screen. I mean, it is important to battle and find the sight lines, and this goaltender whew, does a great job of making it happen. The Flames win the draw. And he slides it quickly to Giverdo. Calgary's got the puck now. The Flames are on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Off a stick and they can't connect. Made that stop. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Works it across to Huberto. And they send it right back to him. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Calgary's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances, and look at the result here late in this third period. Suter's won the draw inside his own end. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Quick feed to Hughes. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Calgary's got the puck in the defensive end. Picked up along the wall by Greer. Fires it. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Standing by Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Lynn Holmes, the player, I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. From the left side, takes it at center. Moves it around along the half wall. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Markstrom's taking the puck now here inside his own territory. The Flames will play it in their own end. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Hughes plays it along the wall. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. The Flames look to start the transition game. Sharon Kovic is moving the puck through his own zone. Calgary's gonna play it from the corner. Here he is in front! Big save! Just wide! Scoops up the puck. Takes a shot! Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Calgary's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No shortage of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. The Flames win the faceoff. Denies him on the slapper! And the puck departs the zone. And there's the final horn, bringing this one to an end. And not only with the W, he also gets the shutout in this one, Cheryl. Strong effort defensively. Well, a great effort, and he with the last line of defense and really tracked well. And in particular, he anticipated the play, made some great reads. And what about his rebound control? Fun night at the rink, and for all of us here on the EA Sports team, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.